first we went down uh, to uh, feel a little about how it could be if the city is overfilled with water. So we walked and went by bike in 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 a small pool, and uh, we felt how it was to to, to live that way. One workshop out of four, so we're gonna do it uh, three times more, and then we're gonna compare the results, and we're gonna have different groups every time. So it's really interesting to see how they uh, work with the issue in uh, different ways. Uh, we went out to the big uh, crossing or uh, roundabout um, intersection uh, outside, and uh, we had with us small swimming pools. And we filled them with water and put two chairs in each swimming pool and uh, we had a pair of wellies. Uh, so we asked people to come into our pool and we had an interview with them and asked them about uh, how they thought that the water or the flooding in Gothenburg would affect their lives. Um, and then we wrote it up on a whiteboard and uh, kind of collected all the, all the data. And today we focused more on solutions, so we looked at what we got, the material we got from yesterday, uh, on what the problems were, and then we chose a problem specifically that we tried to solve. So, so before this they had, had a rather long group discussion where they tried to find different, different ideas or different solutions to, to the topics or the issues, and now they're trying to implement this. So we have come to uh, uh, that we will uh, find a solution for the trams and the rails that are in the city. They've been working for the majority of this day with identifying as a couple of issues with, with a specific site here in Gothenburg that's going to be affected severely by, by flooding. So we made sure that the trams would be able to keep on uh, going and keep their schedule even in the case of a flooding. It's interesting to, to see their point of view and see how they can uh, come up with new ideas to solve this problem. So we chose to build walls um, around the tracks that would only come up during the flooding. So people can go wherever they want, even if there are water on the streets. 